Hello, this is Christopher, and um, Crowface is my YouTube channel, and this is going to be a warm-up to get familiar with um, the using a game of chess uh, to define dimensions, applying the game of chess in terms of 10 dimensions. This is a warm-up for us, and um, I have notes here that I wrote on this, so let's get to this and Hopefully we could tackle the uh, second video that I have. Uh, hopefully it'll make more sense. All right. So let me give you a setup, as you can see right up there also. Um, I just finished playing five regular games of chess, me versus an opponent, attempting alternating turns, moving our chess pieces. Um, I started out pretty well. I won the first game, but then I lost the uh, next uh, four. Anyway, I want to represent my games of chess in terms of dimensions. Let's say I want to find out the conditions where um, I could or would have won all of my games, right? So I'll start by looking at the one game that I did win, right? Let's just say, right? So I note that in that game, I moved my kingside knight four different times during that game. So, so let's, this is how we're going to start it out, and you're going to recognize some of these little symbols and stuff. This is how, how we start out, right? So for this one game, I'll go like this. That's uh, all right. And over here was the, that was the end. Okay, this is the end of my game. That's the start of my one game, the game that I won. And we're going to, I'm going to, we're going to talk about um, that game in terms of a specific piece for the moment. And we're going to talk about my kingside uh, knight. Okay, so that's the knight. That's about the knight. Now, let's see what I got here. Um, uh, I note that I moved my kingside knight four different times during that game. Okay? Uh, so, figure about one, two, three, four. All right? I moved it four different times. Um, in 3D, I see each one of these moves one at a time. All right? In 3D, we see each one of these moves one at a time. There it is. Four moves. Uh, 4D, obviously, 4D is going to be all of the moves at once. That's what I see. In 4D, I see all of these moves at once. In 5D, I see all the possible moves of that night for that one game. In 5... All right, so that, that was... Uh, 3D, right? 3D. Here you see 4D, all of them at once. Okay? So for 5D, okay, I would see all the possible moves. So here is the actual game I played, but I would also see the possible moves. Okay? This is still the knight. This is still one game of chess. All right? And these are the possible endings of that one game of chess for the night. These are examples of all, this would be 4Ds. See, these will all be 4D, 4D lines. Excuse me for a second. That's 5D. This is it for the night. In 5D, this is it for the night. Um, for that game. For that one game, the night is covered. Even if things change, uh, for, uh, because of other pieces, the effects and, and uh, possible results on that night, okay, for that game are represented here in 5D. Um, so we then mark all its possibility as a 5D point, right? We're going to mark all of this as a 5D point. Um, this 5D point, okay, will be one point in 6D. It's going to be one point in a sixth dimension. Um, we look at 6D as an X amount of 5D. We look at 6D as an X amount of 5D points. So let me see what I have for that. Looking back at 5D, this is a good one. This is to help us out a lot. Looking back at 5D, what's in 5D? All possibility of the night. But what if I was looking at the queen instead? Then 5D would be all possibility of the queen. Um, and that would go, that would be true for any piece. 
whatever piece I'm looking at, 5D is going to be all the possibilities of that one piece for this one game. Okay? Therefore, 6D, now let's, you know, you got an idea of what 5D is? Okay? There's your 5D. We understand it's all the possible moves for one particular piece in this one particular game. We were talking about the knight. Okay? 6D is going to contain, um, how do I put it? 6D will have all points of any one 5D point. 6D will have all points of any one 5D point. So, so remember, this is all possibilities of one piece. So, so we can go like this. Right? That was, the same as, that was the same as when we had this line here, and we went like this. Right? So imagine condense that all to a point. It looks like that. So this is what 6D would look like in, in this uh, whiteboard uh, reality here. This is what 6D would look like. Okay? Each one of these little asterisk stars are pieces, and the lines are all their possibilities, all their possible moves for this one game. That's 6D.